is recording. Oh wait, I forgot it like zooms in a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my sorority big, Emma. Hi. <laughs> today we're just gonna be making some ugly Christmas sweaters, cookie kit thing from Target. And we're also gonna be answering some questions that you guys sent over. I'll put Emma's Instagram and her YouTube. I'm trying to get her to do YouTube again because her videos are actually really good. So I'll put that on the screen and in the description box. Go spam her and tell her to like start making videos again. And yeah. Let's yeah. start, I'm ready to make a cookie. Okay, let's get started. Open it. Can we do it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it makes 12 cookies and they're already made. Oh my god, it comes with everything. I like how they're like individually wrapped. First question is, how did you meet each other? Do you want to go first? I feel like I don't exactly remember the first time I met you, but like, I mean, we met each other. Oh, I do. On Zoom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When no, I first I met didn't. you, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, I rushed you. And you were like, you did? I was like, oh, okay. No. Cause, okay, Emma wasn't like the first person from Find Me that I spoke to. It was like the day before prep day. No, but I remember like it was you, but it like took me a second. I don't know why I forgot. But yeah, we met over Zoom when she was rushing. But I think the first time we actually met in person was the mixer. Was that the first time? No, we had our lion bake. Oh or, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> we, we had a lion pal. We go through recruitment and then we get all new girls which was like her PC. You go on Lion Pals, which is like dates with all the girls and the five mom like pairs you up with certain people. And then you like kind of go on dates with them to see like who you want to be your big. It's really fun. It's almost like you're on The Bachelor. Yeah, and like literally. You're like getting to know each other and like seeing people's chemistry for like your potential big. But it's also really cool because you get to like meet other girls within the sorority like more like one on one, so I had a lot of fun. Oh wait, I need to answer too, right? Oh. Ned, for two minutes to make need. <laughs> wait, what was the question? <laughs> the first time I saw Emma was during bid day. We were walking with Sophia, and I remember she like, like tripped a little bit. Not like she didn't like <laughs> fall down, but she like tripped a little bit. And I remember she was like laughing. You when complimented us too, I remember. When you trendy. were getting something to drink. Your outfits were so trendy. Like when I saw you on, I was like, oh my God. Like Yeah, but they have so much fun to like get dressed up. I'm excited for next year to like know the theme already. Yeah. And to like prepare. To, our lion pal. Our lion pal. We went on a picnic, but we didn't really do the picnic. We kind of just sat at the picnic It was table. fun though. I think we probably need like a knife like spread it on here. Yeah, I guess I'll start answering the next one. Okay, what were your first impressions about each other? When I saw Emma, I was like, okay, first of all, her outfit was so cute, like I said earlier. I feel like that was my first like impression like during bid day. But Emma does have, you have an RBF, Emma. Oh, really? Like, yeah. But honestly, like, once I started talking to her, I was like, okay, Emma's, like, really, like, chill and, like, fun. But at first, I was, like, a little scared because I was like... <laughs> people do, like, I, I feel like people have started telling me that, but, like, I never thought I did. Like, I always thought I was super, like, like, I looked super nice. And then people would always be like, you look so rude. Like, I remember Sophia's big... Morgan was like, you have the worst, like, RDF. Like, you look so, like, mean. I'm like... What? I never knew that. It's funny because you don't do it like on purpose. Like it's yeah. just like natural. Oh wait, what do we do first? We put it on here. <laughs> <laughs> we pulled out the whole ring light. Oh, no. okay. Okay. My first impression on you, I'd say probably like, I really remembered our Zoom call because like I talked to so many people and like the conversations just like are really dead sometimes, but I had a lot of fun like talking to you because we talked about like, I wanted to go to Georgia College and like I remember you were telling me about how you went to Georgia College and like, I don't know, I just feel like we talked a lot and like connected good and I thought you were really nice. On the Zoom calls, I really got to know like how people's personalities and like how outgoing they are and stuff. So I thought you were really sweet and then 
I definitely wanted you to be my little, like, oh. immediately. Like, not, like, on the Zoom call, but, like, when I first met you, I was like, I really like her. I actually didn't think Emma wanted me as her little because, like, we never had a conversation or, like, a hint or anything where we were like, yeah. oh, like, you know, like, I low-key want, like, nothing like that happened yeah. at all. So the whole time I was like. That's like, what kind of made it fun <laughs> because, like, we kind of, like, never told each other that we actually wanted each other. Yeah. So it was kind of, like. Funny. Or should I just copy this one for one? I'm I sorry, want to I'm copy this one for one because I think that's cute. I don't know if that's the third it. question was is it hard getting into a sorority? You could go first since you had more experience. I don't think it's hard to get into a sorority. I think that everybody like finds their place and everybody fits in where they are. I think it's hard if you come in with expectations like wanting a certain like sorority because it's just for me and my personal experience like it's a lot different than I was expecting and I just went in like not really knowing anything about Greek life and not knowing much about like sororities so I just came in with a really like like a big open mind and I think that helped me a lot because then like when I got by me like I was so happy this is not coming out like the photo Honey, thanks we're going to make oh my god Emma, this isn't looking like the photo. Why are you so We need you to do cute. it. Because you're the art major. Yeah. <laughs> you need to make a cookie. Ugh. <laughs> Look how ugly that looks. So honestly, for me, it's a little different because like, I feel like I'm still kind of I experience. haven't gone through the recruitment process. Yeah, like you got to like interview and like, do all like the back, like behind the scene type of thing. The Zoom wasn't hard for me, like just because I think it did help a little bit, like that you do YouTube and stuff. Yeah, and also like just the fact that I'm like a, like older, I felt like I always wanted to go through recruitment and I just never did, just for like different reasons. So I think like this year, I like came into it like you know what, I'm gonna give it my all and like yeah, really prepared. Put, yeah, and like just like show them like who I am. I kind of knew what to expect because I did my research. Research. I like watched YouTube videos like I knew what to like what I should I guess talk about more and like tell them about me and stuff like that I was like not prepared at all. I didn't look up anything I just like literally talked and talked and talked like I did not stop talking once <laughs> I feel like I'm messing it up I Look know, how ugly hard. those squiggly lines are next question is favorite thing about each other. I'll go first <laughs> I really like how Emma is like very very independent one thing i noticed about her that i really liked from the beginning is like like you literally will go hiking like just like by yourself basically you like doing stuff like that for yourself okay. i think my favorite thing about you is like your motivation i feel like you're just so determined like you make me want to like wake up earlier and like yeah. do stuff because like you're literally up so early like doing stuff. No. I feel like you have your shit together and like it makes me want to have my shit together. So I like that about you and I also think you're super positive like I just feel like you're always smiling like you're always happy. Uh, on top of that like I really like like Emma's fashion sense like she's so trendy like she has so like all her clothing is like stuff that like I really like and there's a lot more too like I'm just saying like the basics what's your favorite holiday honestly I'd say like probably Christmas just because my birthday is um, the 10th so like I just like Christmas too because I mean I kind of hate that my birthday is close to Christmas but like I just know like when Christmas is coming up like my birthday is coming up so like I get excited about that but I also really like Halloween because it's fun, you get to dress up and like yeah, the parties. Halloween is fun. So like I love, I love Thanksgiving food, and then like Valentine's Day, like I love Valentine's Day too. I really like all holidays, but Christmas <laughs> and Halloween are probably like my favorite. Honestly, for me, I think Halloween. Like after you mentioned it, I yeah. was like, Halloween is like so much fun. I have fun making cost my like my costume every year or costumes. Honestly, literally, I like my birthday. I honestly treat it like a birth month. Sometimes. Ew, why is this coming out so ugly and yours is like good? I'm telling you, they make the boxes look so yeah. nice and then you make it's them. It's way harder and it than looks it looks. nothing like that. Oh, wait. <laughs> Another thing I like about Emma, I didn't finish mine. She's like very social. Like, I feel like Emma, you get along with a lot of people, yeah. like different types of people too. So, I really like that. Do you have to be a certain size to rush? No, you do not. And I feel like I'm like the perfect example of that. When you first look at me, I don't feel like I'm somebody that 
you look at as like a typical like sorority girl or anything and i think that's honestly a good thing everybody should feel welcomed like the way they are yeah and that's definitely like one thing i love about five is i feel like we're really diverse we definitely accept like everyone of any shape or size or any like ethnicity like anything so like i love that and i don't think sororities should be anything about like your size or anything even i have observed that as a new member like I don't ever like feel like, oh, I have to look this way or this way. Who has the better closet? Emma has the better closet because <laughs> Emma hasn't even, seen her house. Yeah. <laughs> so I've never seen her closet. I will be moving out soon though. Honestly, my closet is messy right now either way. So good thing you haven't seen it. <laughs> Favorite memory so far? Probably um, Big Little Reveal. Oh yeah. I definitely think formal was really fun too. Honestly, I think it's the same for me. Oh my God. And then we went to go eat after that at Les Paul and that was so fun. Okay, something I haven't told anybody, like not even Emma. Wait, why does that look so perfect? I used the knife thing to go <laughs> look like at this. <laughs> and mine doesn't have the line. We basically had our big little reveal, like I think it was like a day earlier. <gasps> Did I really just put Christmas trees when it was the other ones? It is Christmas trees. No, it's like that. This <laughs> the <one>. leaves. <laughs> Anyways, when I was entering the parking deck, um, so before I put on my face mask, I sort of saw Neely, but I didn't, I couldn't see her because she was like peeking out. You know how there's like that yeah. like area where you could see like people entering the parking deck. So she was like sort of peeking out and I was like, oh, that looks like somebody that's about to do a big little reveal. But the thing is like, I had only seen her a few times. So I wasn't like a hundred percent sure if it was her. As soon as I saw like the figure of her, like, well at the moment I was like, who like whoever that is. I like put my mask on because I was like, I'm gonna spoil it for myself if I like keep looking up. That would have been crazy though. Like if you would have been peeking out yeah. at the wrong time, like I would have figured that out before I got all the way up there. I just messed mine up. What is that? <laughs> That's what I was looking at. <laughs> okay, maybe I can make it look better. I think you just need to put the yeah these little things on it. What's one thing you'll miss about college once you graduate? I guess I just say like the social aspect because I feel like once. I graduate like I'm not gonna be able to like see as many people and like not being in a sorority like I won't be like I won't be going to like events as much for me It's just like being around the area too in a way like I already Experienced that like when I transferred like sometimes I Literally just miss like Milledgeville in terms of visiting the town because there's certain things like yeah. you really like There's certain restaurants over there that I'm like, oh my god, like I miss that restaurant So I feel like the same thing is gonna happen once I graduate here other things too But that's like the first thing that like came up in my mind You're still in the light <laughs> Move on to the next one How did they do that? How stressful is college? Very stressful Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> stressful. There's a lot more it's like yes you have more freedom but then also there's more i guess responsibility and like the classes are really hard this semester i don't know why they did that because of like covid and everything but i feel like my classes were like so hard this semester and it's just like a lot to like balance and i think just going to college is just such a different like atmosphere i feel like i'm grateful because like it does teach you a lot about yeah. I guess like balancing things, just having like a well-rounded experience, especially like when you are involved in Greek life, I feel like that helps too. Question 11 says, would you ever go vegan? Definitely not. Really? Yeah, I would. I could kind of see you going vegan. I literally like love meat. I'm surprised. Like I love chicken, I love bacon, I love sausage. I have to eat like a balanced meal, like with a meat, a vegetable, and like a starch. Like I a don't what? Starch. Or like like rice. Do you think you could? No. Okay. I am Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> we have our tamalitos. Ooh, what's our that? tamales? Oh. Tamales. I like tamales. We have I our... need you to make me some. You should have seen the face I made. <laughs> I'm done with this because that one was hard. No. What do you mean? You're not gonna do the other one? No, I'm done with this one. Oh, okay. next question is celebrity crush. Like, obviously Justin Bieber, but I'm trying to get like a better one. Okay, actually, okay, the other day I was on Instagram and I don't know how I found Taylor Lautner. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. 
back then. When I saw him, I was like, dang, daddy, like, where have you been? I'm more of like a Vampire Diaries girl, so. <laughs> I haven't finished that yet. I'm not like the type of person that's like obsessed with like celebrities or anything, yeah. so like, I don't know. Then for the girl, I don't know, I guess Alexa Demi. She's like so, I don't know. There's a lot of things I like about her. Oh, Zendaya too. Oh, I love her too. She's like, sure. oh my God. She is so talented, so down to earth. Okay, what piercings do you have? Any tattoos? Question mark. And this is a question for Emma. You don't have your ears pierced? No, my, never mind. My ears are pierced. Besides that. That's all? Yeah. Just one? Yeah, two. Not just one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I have my belly button pierced, my nose pierced, my ears pierced. And that's it. And no tattoos. Are you planning on getting tattoos ever? I kind of low-key want one, but it'd be a tiny one that I could like cover. Yeah. And it's like, it probably would be something, like I don't just want to get one just because it looks cute. Like I want one to Meaning symbolize one, yeah. something. I just don't like know what I want on my body forever. So that's what's hard that's for true. me. I need to use that. <laughs> You're too slow. <laughs> I think I'm just tired. I'm gonna have to edit after this too. We're gonna answer the last few questions and then we'll probably just montage like finishing it and then show you guys like the final results. What's one place you would like to travel to in the future? I really want to go to Greece and I know you've been. There's like a friend from high school that I was gonna go with like literally this upcoming summer but now like I'd, we're probably not gonna go because of everything that happened. I literally have Pinterest boards for all of these, but I also want to go to Bora Bora. Oh yes, that's definitely that one. Definitely. Seems like oh my god. What's the other one? Like Turks and Caicos. I want to uh, stay in the huts and like in Bora Bora, like the you know like the. Oh yeah, the ones you see on like, Pinterest. In the water. Oh, I'm obsessed with that. We need to go somewhere like that too. One that's like I guess it's not in a different country. It's like in the US is Miami. Like, I really wanna stay. You've never been there? I think I have, but it's probably been a while. Cause I was born in Florida, so that's why I feel like I have. Oh yeah, I know. I've gone a few times and I love it. But I also like, it's very touristy. Yeah. Um, I love the downtown part though. Like, I like going across the bridge and like going to the downtown part. The strip, like, I don't know, I'm just kind of over it because I've gone a few times. The food's overpriced and it's not good. I have a video about Miami actually. I think I saw it. My <laughs> spring break vlog. In Miami though, the place that I want to go to is the Versace Mansion. <sighs> I ate dinner there before. I low key want to like stay there for like a night or two. And for me, like, I'm so like interested in like the way he died and everything. Like, he literally died outside of his house. Which is so sad. I'd say, yeah, definitely Greece. I like to go to Greece. Yeah, my family actually has a yeah. house in Athens. Ooh. Yeah, but I wanna go to like Santorini. I've never been to Santorini. I think like Bora Bora definitely. Australia is always somewhere I've wanted to go. Oh yeah. It seems so pretty over there. Like there's a lot of influence. Europe, definitely. Over there. I was supposed to go to London study abroad in London last summer and it got canceled and then mm. I was supposed to go to Spain with Sophia and that got canceled so I've never been to like actually I have been to Europe but I just don't remember it because I was younger I feel like you've traveled to so many places too yeah I have traveled a lot but most of it was like, when I was like younger <laughs> and then last question where do you get your fashion inspo and what are your favorite stores to shop at? I get my fashion inspo from like Instagrammers that I like and Pinterest. That's where I like usually go to look for outfits. I think my favorite stores are Windsor because that's like my whole wardrobe. Mm -hmm. I have to say that. Literally. I love Zara and ASOS and I have a lot of stuff from Threads because I used to work there. I feel like those are like my favorite. I really like Threads too. Like this mm -hmm. summer, I, re I remember buying a lot of like comfy things. Princess Polly, use code Julia20 for 20% off your purchase. I also really like just like random little Instagram stores. I am Coco on Instagram. It's like based in California. Oh yeah, my fashion inspo. Definitely Pinterest. My style is like Instagram baddie, like trendy. At least I like to think, I don't know. <laughs> I just love trendy stuff that are, that are like a little bit out there.
These are my cookies that I decorated. This one I tried to do like a little garland or like Christmas lights on it. Kind of ended up looking weird. This one I really like. It's probably my favorite one. That's my cookie. Okay, so my cookies did not turn out as good as Emma's. Reef. <laughs> I put a wreath in the middle and then I just did like red on the sleeves and the bottom and on the collar. And then, yeah. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we don't want to talk about her, but I tried to like do the five mute, but yeah, no, that didn't work out. So yeah, this was my best one. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video with Emma. Again, I will have all her links and social medias down below in the description box. So definitely go follow her. Thank you for having <laughs> me. You guys will see Emma more in more videos. Bye.